The reality, I mean, you know, right out, let me tell you, we're not a charitable business. We are a business for profit. Um, so very simply, we believe uh, at the end of the day, it's only when you uh, profit motivates you, it, it, it sustains uh, activity over a period of time. Um, so uh, all I can tell you for sure is that the 5.845 cents uh, per kilowatt hour tariff, which is about 20% lower than what the world had ever seen before on an equal basis, um, indeed is a, a, a stunningly low tariff. Uh, and therefore, I can well understand people being skeptical. Uh, but the fact of the matter is it's a very achievable tariff. We're going to achieve it. We're going to make profit. Uh, and we're going to make a profit that is commensurate with the risks that that kind of a project entails. But in order, because of uh, the way this particular project, uh, the amount of publicity has attracted, we have done the very unusual thing of uh, explaining much more detail uh, how we were able to achieve this tariff. So uh, at a very high level, something like um, uh, roughly half uh, the tariff uh, is going towards the capital cost of constructing the plant, uh, getting the plant uh, built. So it's technology and the, and the construction itself. And about uh, 30 to 35 percent of the tariff is going towards the cost of getting it funded, financed, both the debt funding and the equity, the profit, so-called, the profit that the equity investor makes. And then uh, the balance 15 odd percent is operation and maintenance costs. Don't forget, there is no fuel cost, obviously. The good Lord has not figured out how to charge us for that. Uh, so if I take each component, and the f easiest one and the most impressive one is the 35% uh, cost of funding. And it's very high because it's 35% is very high. It's because it's capital intensive. Renewable energy is capital intensive, OPEX low because there's no fuel. So we've got to, we've got to put together a large amount of money up front. So we borrow it, uh, we invest, and then we collect it back over 20, 25 years or whatever. In this project, with the good credit of DIWA, our off-taker, uh, the well-established policy framework and the stability that Dubai provides, and presumably because of our own delivery track record, we were able to attract 86% of the project cost to be funded by debt. Typically in these projects, one has hardly ever seen anything more than 80% funded by 80, 81%, 82% funded by debt. The more debt you have, the lower that cost is because debt is always cheaper uh, because it's taking less risk than equity. So in this project, we don't have the conventional 20% equity. We only have 14% uh, equity, which is the more expensive. Even the debt that we got, we were able to structure 27-year tenor, unheard of, uh, on a 25-year power purchase agreement. So we even have a tail on that debt. So we were able to structure a long tenor debt, and, and that debt came in at less than 4% all-in price. So it was a very competitively priced debt. Even on the equity, uh, uh, commensurately priced uh, to the risks, um, it, it is not as people expected, single digit. I mean, I think people are running around saying, oh, these guys are not making any money. Uh, they did it for whatever the purposes, but no, the reality is uh, we have priced equity at a double digit. It's over 10%. Okay. So that package of 35 was very tightly optimized. Then on the CapEx side of it, uh, we are using, everybody on a photovoltaic plant, everybody says panels, panels, panels. Well, the reality is panels is less than half the capital cost of a plant. It's actually more like 40% of the capital of the cost of a plant. But we were using, in this particular project, we have gone public, we are using uh, first solar panels. Um, first solar, uh, the largest sort of photovoltaic firm in the world. Uh, they are leading on uh, efficiency, so it's a very efficient panel, uh, which is helpful. Um, we've got a very competent EPC contractor, TSK, from Spain. Dubai, so something like half the cost of the plant comes from the balance of plant and getting it constructed. Dubai offers a fantastic construction platform. There's a lot of construction capability. There's a lot of industrialization capability there. So we're able to procure 
the balance of plant much, much more competitive. We are not, we're not importing a hell of a lot. The local content in this project actually is very high. So the capex, that 50% piece, also is very optimized. Then the last 15 odd percent, the operation and maintenance cost. Well, the fact of the matter is we have nearly 2,000 people in this part of the world who are operating and maintaining plants. Uh, we have uh, 27 plants, albeit fossil fuel based, most of them. But the fact of the matter is that gives us a significant access to the supply chain, significant purchasing power, and for us to be able to optimize uh, across the platform, even with our human resource capability. So we are even able to deliver the O&M competitively. So all of that coming together has given us a, uh, this tariff. Um, absolutely, I'm 100% convinced at this site or next door site tomorrow, if DWA were to tender another plant on the same sort of terms and conditions, I would expect to see a lower tariff because everybody will be benchmarking against this tariff and there will be competition and we'll end up with a better tariff. So it's not a one-off uh, marketing stunt. Um, I think uh, now, at this point, everybody then rushes off and say, oh, okay, so can we kind of use this number for anywhere else in the world? No, you cannot, because the credit conditions are different, the sun intensity is different, daylight hours are different, the ground conditions are different. So there are, you know, there's so many things that sort of influence the tariff. But what I can say, in the good news and the surprising news, that's uh, beneficial news, is that whereas up to the end of 2014, photovoltaic energy had come down in cost, it was still in the teens. 13, 12, 13, 14 was the number that was being tossed around. Well, guess what? I think we can be very confident and say today, regardless of where in the world, so long as it, there is sunshine, obviously, um, photovoltaic is in single digits now. Okay, so it's become very cost competitive compared to any other forms of uh, energy for that segment of the demand curve. 